Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. We're going to take a look at Scorpio and Scorpio. So, we're looking at Scorpio and Scorpio. Uh, guys, please like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe, please. I did meditate over the cards. We're going to take a look and see what's going on in this connection. I'm just going to close the window. Alright guys, somebody in this connection, and it's one of the Scorpios here, they're looking for a new beginning or potential in this relationship. Okay, I feel like this relationship is something that's been going on for a long time. It's a marriage, it's a long-term partnership. Um, I feel like it may have been going on for a while. And when you're in a situation um, with a long-term partnership, there are joys, there are sorrows, there are things from the past you need to go back and re-examine. And you need to kind of figure out if this is something that you want to continue to work on. Because obviously there's some conflict here with um, harmony, cooperation, and healing in the heart area. Like, we've been through some stuff together, but there are some things that I just can't forget. And it's, this is becoming a lot of work. This energy here, the first Scorpio, whoever this is, they're, they're looking to rest and reconsider. They need to take a step back from the relationship and examine the good and the bad of this relationship. Okay, so it's about examining. It's about attaining what it is you want. It's about bringing what you want into fruition, but taking a step back to figure out how you want to do it. The throat chakra is the next card for this energy here. There's some conflict. There's change. There's instability. I don't necessarily feel safe in this connection right now. All right, so this is definitely some sort of a conflict, but I believe this conflict also has to do with communication. So this is a communication issue. It's about willpower. It's about truthfulness. It's about setting boundaries. It's about what you will do and what you will not do to me and vice versa. It's about boundaries of respect, boundaries of truth. This is what this person is looking for. And I feel like with this card, if you really look at what these mean, it's just like we've been together for such a long time. Things are so complex. They consist of good. They consist of bad. I need to go through it and see how we can move forward. I need to communicate some things to you. We need to have effective communication. We have another person in this connection here who understands that there's their person, like, oh my goodness, my per I feel like there's something different about my person. I feel like my person needs to take a step back. As or, or my person has told me they want to take a step back so they can reevaluate how we're doing this, what the dynamic of this relationship is. My person didn't necessarily tell me that they want to leave, but I can tell that things are a little spaced out, a little space cadet. A um, little vague about things. Um, if this is a long-term partnership and you guys are not living together, um, you know, they, they could have not, hey, I'm not coming over this week or I need to make, I don't know if I feel like some people may be giving excuses as to why they cannot, um, why they can't, where's this thing, why they can't see one another. But there's somebody that just needs a rest from this relationship. So if this is in the house, if you guys are together in the house, you'll probably see this person spending a lot of time in a different room. It's not that they don't love you, it's just that they have to, this is a lot of work here. So we have somebody in the connection who's looking to strengthen the bond, all right? They're looking for greater, like, greater potential in a relationship. They know that it's there, they know that it's attainable, and it's just, now I have to do it. I know there can be a new beginning. I don't want to lose my person, Scorpio. Okay. So here, <clears throat> we have a well-deserved reward. So this is... This is somebody in this connection who's probably examining things from the past within this connection and also before this connection um, and just kind of looking at what worked for me, what did not. I've been in this relationship. This is what I brought into the relationship. This is how I've worked on it. You know, I feel like this person maybe has not been putting in as much effort. And I think with the scare of the other Scorpio saying, hey, I need a break from this. I think that we may have snapped something into them. Hmm. So. And with that, oops, sorry guys, with that comes uh, helpless and hopeless. So helpless and hopeless tells us that this person is having a wake up, wake up call about this relationship. Like uh, there's a potential I could lose my person if I don't get this right, if I don't try, if I don't take some sort of an action. So I think that this person might just be coming into some kind of knowledge that, hey, I might need to take some sort of action to save this. For both you guys, the energy here is the, the heart chakra. It talks about 
um, like compassion, forgiveness, giving and receiving unconditional love, things like that. So that's what the heart chakra is about. And that's the general, the, the general energy between you guys. I also see that you guys may be in agreement that we need to do a little bit more in this relationship to keep it going, right? So if we don't water the garden, if we don't take care of a manicure the lawn, then it's not going to grow, right? So we do see that there's some opportunity there for this partnership to have some balance and duality and for us to grow it. Also, another, um, I guess, common energy between you guys is we are looking to heal. We have somebody who's looking to rebuild. It's just that their way of rebuilding is different. It consists of, I got to take a hike by myself. I got to walk up the mountain by myself. I got to go over to my mother's house or something like that. I got to go somewhere and get some space from you, right? While you figure out how to strengthen this bond, because I feel like somebody in this connection does a lot of the work. And I also feel more stagnant energy. And I feel like there's somebody here who only reacts when they know it's time. That's a wake-up call. But you can't heal the relationship. As a matter of fact, there are some things that need to be, like we need to nurture the relationship. We know that. So that's why you see Blossom. We have three of wands. So three of wands is pretty much telling us that this is a team effort, right? And you guys may not be working as a team right now. This card talks about expansion. It talks about travel. Okay, so I think that, I don't know if you guys are planning on going on a trip to rekindle something and strengthen bonds, but I think that's where we are. We have two willing parties, but just different ways of coming to the same conclusion, right? That we can do this, but I need to take a break while you need, I don't want to take a break. I don't work on it now. Well, I need a break. I'm going over to my mama's house. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go over there and hang out with her or whoever for a little while, and I'm going to give you a break. Or I'm going to go down into the basement and play my video games for a little while. I'm going to give you a break so you can figure this out. So one person is retreating. The other one wants to. But it's almost like a forced retreat with the uh, the other Scorpio. They have to. Um, this this relationship. Uh, yeah, somebody's trying to get away. I'm looking at the energy here. I'm all shuffling, not telling you guys why. Sorry about that. I'm looking at the energy and love. Well, what can we do? Is this going to work out between Scorpio and Scorpio? Because I feel like there are two people who trust each other. I trust you, so you need to trust the fact that when I say I need to go hiking in the mountains so I can get some space to deal with you, then that's what it is. But I'll be back. I'll be back. But you're going to have to figure out a way to get this going. All right? We both know what we want. You take your way to figure out how we're going to get this to this, this successful place. Which it feels like you guys are already there now. Like you know what the issues are. You know you need to communicate. You know you need to water the garden. Right? Mm. Let go of control issues and allow the situation to unfold naturally. So I believe that there is some rebuilding here. There's some conflict. There's somebody trying to have a little bit too much control. You, nobody can really control the outcome. So you might, you might want to not do that. Ancestors, give me one more for this connection. Is there anything else we need to know here? For the connection with Scorpio and Scorpio relationships, July 2021. Ancestors. One more card, please. I'm really trying not to have a congested board. Oh, 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 new love. A new person has stared romantic feelings. Now, now that could be the problem. Mm hmm. Expansion. teamwork mm. soulmate yes this is your soulmate Ooh. Oh, 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 a new person all right all right mate mm. rest and reconsider hold on stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance oh my goodness now we gotta go up in here somebody interested in somebody else Okay, Jerry Springer. Now I gotta get some more cards. Hold on. Ancestors. What's up with this? A new person has stared romantic feelings. Uh huh. So somebody, this relationship became, I don't wanna say stagnant, but. There was enough of a void somewhere that somebody allowed some new emotions to, to come in for somebody else. All right. And I feel like that might be part of why this person is taking a retreat. One of you guys are considering somebody else. You're determining whether or not the current person is your soulmate. Right. Let go of control issues. Let it play out naturally. We have new love. We have this could be the one, the soulmate. Stay optimistic about your love life. This was not, this is not good. 
ancestors. We have the Queen of Cups. A nurturing, okay. Queen of Cups, hang on. Ancestors, explain more to me about dedication. Hold up. Yeah, somebody, um, one of you guys in this connection are interested in somebody at work. I believe this has to do with somebody at work, and you have feelings for them. I don't know if you believe, I don't know which one it is you, which one of you this is for. But this is something I believe is going on at work, maybe with another water sign. Mm. Ancestors, tell me more about the soul meat. What's that? This is Six of Wands. Victory, recognition. Hold on. That's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Mm, that something my sense. All right, somebody in this connection has... Um, when Scorpio, Scorpio, I don't know what's up with your energy, but somebody here has, might have commitment issues. I feel like this is a long-term partnership, and I think somebody's trying to figure out whether or not they still want this. Because I feel like somebody new may have entered into this relationship and they're trying to question whether or not either they're trying to, they know that there's potential in the existing relationship and they're trying to let go of control and let something play out naturally. I feel like somebody has a backup person, possibly somebody they could be interested in if this were to fail. I feel like there might be a new water sign or there could be a fire sign that walked into this scenario. Right. During some type of pause or because or, we do see somebody that I don't want to say took off, but I'm taking a rest. I'm not giving this relationship as much energy as I did. And it's probably because it's ineffective communication. So this one of these folks here has met somebody or there's somebody at work that they have feelings for. And they're just like, is this it might just be one of them fantasy things. I don't know. But this looks like it's happening at work. When we also have somebody here who might have commitment issues. Somebody that has too many choices, commitment issues. But this person, this talks about recognition at work. I think that this has, this talks about recognition. I think this is something having to do with work. There's going to be some kind of victory or good news about something. Dedication. Uh-huh. Or maybe somebody's taking too much time working. Maybe, I don't know, but this literally says new love. Somebody's interested in something else. That's what I'm getting out of it. So I guess that talks about the travel. Maybe somebody's worried about it, the travel, the expansion. I don't know. Something's wrong. Wait, hold on. Let me see what else I have. I want, I want cards that are really going to tell me something. Sorry about that, guys. I'm looking for cards that will give me some more information. Ancestors. This is a card I want to know about. Seven of Swords reverse, please give me answers, please, ancestors. Scorpio and Scorpio, please give me more answers. Security, performance, growth, endurance, flexibility. Palm tree. Meeting and conversing, savoring the movement, feeling uplifted friendship. Somebody's feelings change with yang, yin, yang, balance, union, duality, coupling, complement each other. I feel like there's somebody in this connection who's having fantasies about somebody else. And in their head, they might love them or whatever. I don't know what this is, but there's somebody else. This could be. I think that this person might be taking a rest so they can figure out if they want to entertain these new feelings that they have for somebody else or if they want to work on this existing connection. At this time, I feel like this person is not necessarily, they don't know if they want to be committed anymore. They don't know because they feel like there's other other things out there, other people out there that they could see. And so at this time, I'm taking a minute to figure out if this is what I want to do. That's the energy that I'm getting. Ooh, I don't want to make this.
is too long, but wow, it is what it is. Ancestors. Ancestors. Whatever you can tell me about this. Okay, I guess I'll take these. Yeah. I know my camera's all over the place, guys. Sorry about that. Yeah, not too bad. It's bad, but not too bad. Ancestors, give me one card to just let me know what the deal is here. What is the deal here? Submission to a higher order identifies traitors and destroys their plans. Hmm. Identifies traitors. And destroys their plans. I don't know what this is about. I'm. Sh I don't know what this one is. It just it feels like there's somebody entering a relationship and somebody's taking a step back. That's all I got for you guys. I love you. Thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot, Scorpio and Scorpio. Let me know in the comment area. Like, what is this about? Are you guys? One of you guys travel for work or something like that? Somebody's walking away. They feel like they can't do anything because there's some energy that interrupted them and I believe it has to do with work. Some of you guys might have partners that are traveling for business. I don't know how that goes for you. I think that maybe some of you guys might be having some trust issues around that because it's definitely something. I love you guys. Bye.